Hello, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, geodesy currents and hyperbolic surfaces. Uh, the talk has two parts. Uh, this is the first part. Uh, in the first part, I'm going to talk about geodesy current and some background. And in the second part, I'm going to talk about the problem about intersection points on hyperbolic surfaces. Um, So let's start with a uh, geodesy current. So, so, so I, I want to find geodesy current. The setting is that um, we have a hyperbolic surface, finite volume hyperbolic surface. Assume that uh, T on X is the unit tangent bundle of X. And uh, the last notation, actually not the last, but uh, two other notation, uh, one is free, uh, which is geodesic flow. So we can think about phi phi t, t is the time and phi is the geodesic flow and uh, involution map. So I am for uh, involution map. Um, what, what is the involution map? It is a map uh, on unit tangent bundle that sends a vector to a unit vector to its negative. Um, so, so th there are uh, two. Now I want to define geodesic current, but there are uh, different ways. Uh, so I, I say dif uh, three different ways that uh, you can think about the geodesic currents. And as an exercise, you can see how from one you can get the other one. Um, so the, the, the first uh, one is uh, geodesic current is uh, invariant. Transverse measure. Uh, on unit tangent bundle. Uh, so what, what do I mean by trans invariant transverse measure? So on unit tangent bundle, uh, we have these geodesics, and uh, so for for uh, any transverse plane to the geodesics, a uh, geodesic current. Uh, so one geodesic current it define a measure on each transverse plane. So a geodesic current say uh, current C is a, a measure on this plane, uh, which is uh, invariant under flow, under geodesic flow, and also invariant under uh, involution. Uh, what do I mean by invariant under flow? It means if you uh, move a plane. Uh, slightly along the geodesics, uh, then uh, the the measure we obtain, uh, on, the measure we have on that plane, it, it doesn't change. Uh, that's the first definition. Um, now that we have this transverse measure, if we look at each, uh, the product of the uh, transverse measure with the length measure along the geodesic, so we get a measure on unit tangent bundle. And uh, this is the second way we can define a geodesic current. It is a Borel uh, locally finite uh, and also invariant under the geodesic flow. So phi invariant and uh, involution invariant. Uh, measure uh, on unit tangent bundle. So, so when we have a current here, so here we look at the. Uh, so when we have a geodesic current here, so here we can look at this product to this uh, length measure, and we obtain a measure on uh, unit tangent bundle. Um, and uh, the other, there is also another way to think about geodesic current when we have uh, some subset of uh, geodesics. 
because this uh, transverse measure is invariant uh, when we move that along geodesic, so it gives us, we can assign a measure to this subset of geodesics. Uh, so the other definition is that it is a, a measure on GH. And what is GH? It is the space of, which is the space of uh, geodesics on H, and, and, and H is the upper half plane, the universal color. Uh, so it is a measure on this uh, set, uh, which is, so again it is oral, uh, locally finite uh, measure, which is invariant uh, under uh, fundamental group. I work with H upper half pi, so I should assume it is invariant under the action of the uh, fundamental group. And, but, but because I assume uh, that I, I consider the space of uh, unoriented geodesics, there is no need to mention uh, involution in this definition. Uh, now let's talk about some examples of uh, geodesic currents. A natural example of geodesic current is, uh, is closed geodesics. Uh, when we have a closed geodesic gamma, so I assume that this is T1 x, and we have a closed geodesic. So when we have a closed geodesic gamma, uh, we can uh, simply assign delta measure to each transverse uh, transversal plane, or uh, we can uh, think about it a length measure on the unit tangent bundle. So it gives us, so if we consider a length measure uh, in unit tangent bundle, so it gives us a measure which is nice and satisfies these properties. Uh, similarly, we can consider a uh, multi for uh, obtaining a geodesic current. Um, so this is an example, um, and uh, we know so, so two important functions on closed geodesics uh, are length function and intersection number. Uh, now we want to extend this function for geodesic current. So we want to consider links hyperbolic links and intersection number. Uh, we want to see how to define them for geodesic currents. Uh, so so length is easy, but uh, when we have a closed geodesic, what, what is its length? So we say that uh, a closed geodesic as a current, it is length measure on unit tangent bundle, and the, the length of the curve is just the total volume, the uh, total volume of unit tangent bundle. So uh, we can define uh, for when we have a. So assume that uh, I use, uh, let's say, I use um, notation C, BC for the space of geodesic current. So, so when, we, when we have a, a geodesic current, then uh, we can define its length just as the total volume of a unit tangent one. That's the length. Uh, so, so length is easy. Intersection number is uh, a little bit more complicated. I'm not saying the, all details, but I just give uh, an idea of how, how we can define intersection number. Um, so co consider this space I1x, which is uh, a space of two poles, a point, and two directions, two unit directions at the point. Uh, so P is a point in X, and these are just two unit vectors, two directions at P. 
and also uh, remove the diagonal. So that diagonal here is just the, the point at the same directions. Uh, now when we can see that we have uh, two closed geodesics. Uh, so then we have yeah, two closed geodesics, gamma 1, gamma 2. Uh, they intersect at a uh, finitely many points. Each, uh, in each intersection point, it gives us a point uh, on this ix. So when we have uh, two gamma 1, gamma 2, and this is i1x. So their uh, intersection points, they, they give us some points here, and their intersection number um, is just the total number of the points. Uh, so, so maybe I should write here the definition of just intersection number for closed if, Yeah, before I go to geodesic coordinates, I recall the intersection number for closed geodesics. So when we have closed geodesic gamma 1, gamma 2, their intersection that we show with i, i of gamma 1, gamma 2, is the, uh, sometimes we refer to that as geometric intersection number, uh, intersection number of Uh, it is just the total number of uh, intersection points uh, with the multiplicity. But by multiplicity, I mean if the uh, geodesics pass through a point multiple times, so we consider that point with weight. And um, okay, so uh, each point here is assigned a point uh, in this space, and the intersection number is just the number of points here. Uh, for when we have geodesic currents, they are measures. Uh, so we do the similar thing when we have two currents, C1, C2. Uh, so they give a measure. They give the measure, and I, I use notation I till. C1, C2, and I1x. Um, I, I'm not defining, uh, so I'm not explaining how to define that, but uh, it is like uh, almost uh, like, so it, it's like that these currents, like two transverse measures, and uh, this I till is the product of these transverse measures. Uh, so for any, for any two current, we have this measure on I1x, and what is their, um, what is their intersection number? And the intersection number of C1, C2 is just to define it as the volume of I, uh, I1x. Intersection number. Um, okay, now let's see another example of geodesic current. Uh, when we have a hyperbolic surface X, uh, it gives us a, a canonical. Current uh, corresponding to X, which is uh, which we use notation uh, L A, and it's called uh, Liouville measure or Liouville current. Um, so this this Liouville is it's uh, as a measure on unit tangent bundle. It is uh, a natural measure we have on unit tangent bundle. Uh, from the surface, from, from the hyperbolic structure. Uh, there is also another way to uh, define a Liouville uh, measure. I, I'm not mentioning here, but uh, I explain, I, I uh, describe some nice properties of a Liouville measure. Uh, the first one is uh, the intersection of the intersection number of Liouville measure with the current for any current. Any geodesic current, the intersection number with Liouville is just its length, and the intersection number of Liouville measure with itself 
g of its length is a constant is i squared So if when you change x, uh, this intersection doesn't change. Uh, it is a constant. And uh, so if you remember, we say that for any two currents, uh, for any two currents uh, C1, C2, uh, right so we say for any current C1, C2, uh, we have this measure I2 as a measure on i1x and we have a natural projection from i1x to x that just sends a, uh, just ignore the uh, second and third component and just project it to the point and this projection here uh, we, we can push forward uh, this uh, measure uh, this intersection measure also to a, as a, to a measure on x uh, that I use notation i c1 c2 so it is a measure on i1 x and this is a measure on this is a measure on x and uh, for Liouville measure we can see this measure is just a uniform measure so i of Liouville with a so and uh, as a measure on x it is just a uh, multi of um, area measure. That alpha here is just area measure. Um, okay, one other thing I mentioned about the intersection number is that uh, intersection number is uh, so as a function on pairs of geodesic current, it is uh, not continuous in general. So we can say it is uh, continuous when x is compact. And uh, not con it's not continuous uh, when x is a uh, finite volume weak. So when x has cost. So when on your surface there is a cost, then uh, it makes uh, some, uh, the, the intersection number, it, it may have uh, different behavior and it's not continuous anymore. So you can think about it as an exercise of why it's not uh, continuous in that case. Um, yeah, so these are the backgrounds we need uh, from geodesic current for the rest of the talk. In the second uh, talk, um, uh, so I'm talking about this, uh, uh, this theorem that uh, intersection, so we have again uh, x is a finite volume hyperbolic surface. Uh, we consider uh, intersection points. The intersection points between pairs of closed geodesics are all the intersection points between uh, pairs of uh, closed geodesics and uh, so we be sure that uh, these points are equidistributed on the surface. 